If you are one of the people that have a Medicare supplement or you're getting ready to go on Medicare and you know you don't want Medicare Advantage, you don't like the networks, you travel out of state a lot because your kids are all around the country, uh, you have a favorite doctor you would never want to switch to, or you've just heard that Medicare supplement is the Cadillac plan, which is what I call it, the Cadillac plan. <laughs> but Medicare supplement plan G, I don't want to say it's skyrocketing in price, but it's alarmingly going up in price. It is the rate increases forecast for 2025 are in the double digits, which is not good. So more and more people every year are being priced out of a Medicare supplement and they're moving to Medicare Advantage. Sure, they understand that there's a network and this and that and the other, but if you can't comfortably afford to pay your Medicare supplement premium and maybe it's two, three, four, or more hundred dollars a month each for the two of you, when Medicare Advantage touts a very low and some have no monthly premium. So if you don't want to go to Medicare Advantage or you want to prolong that journey, there are Medicare supplement plans outside of the G, the Cadillac plan. I have F up here, which is no longer for sale, but I have it up there because you will know people that have it. People are buying the G. With the G, you have to pay your Part B deductible. That's the little hole right here. You see there's no other holes in a G. Now there's other plans. We talk about the N a lot. The N, down at the end, you also pay your deductible. You pay $20 to see a doctor. You pay $50 if you go to the ER. If your doctor doesn't accept Medicare assignment, you would pay excess. There's about eight states that don't allow it, so excess is not a threat in those states. And Plan N is pretty popular in those states. Plan N, however, has been sucking the healthy people over there, people that don't go to the doctor, to get a lower MedSup rate. So now those people are getting older and sicker and we're seeing Plan N rates go up a lot higher than we have seen in the past. We used to see a 0% rate increase on N or a 2% or 3%. Now we're seeing six, seven, eight, nine percent So people, if they couldn't afford G, they would move down to N. Now if you can't afford N, where do you go? If you don't want to go to Medicare Advantage because that's always out there. There are other plans, K, L. Now, K, L, and M are plans that nobody buys, like nobody buys. Most insurance companies don't even offer them. So you're, if you currently have Mutual of Omaha, they might not offer a K in your state. They might offer it in another state. If they don't, we're start, we think we'll start to see more companies file these plans. There are, these are the legal plans that are allowed to file. They don't have to file them all. So what does a K look like? Well, first of all, it is a lot cheaper because nobody buys it. How much you pay is based on how sick a group of people are on that plan, how big and sick they are. So there's nobody on it. And the people that would buy it would be very healthy because you have to pay a lot more out of pocket. And you can look at here and see where it would be covered 100% on a G, you'd pay 50%. So but you can see there's a lot of holes. You still pay the Part B deductible and you, you don't have any foreign travel emergency. If you go out of the country, most people don't care about that. The big deal is that there's a maximum out of pocket on a K. And this year it's about $7,000. So most people go, woo, $7,000, that's a lot. The maximum out of pocket set by the government this year for MedAdvantage is $8,550. Now that doesn't mean your plan has that maximum. Your plan could be $8,550 or below. And some plans in California might be 3,000 out of pocket, but most plans are around five or 6,000 out of pocket. So if it's if your med advantage is five or 6,000 out of pocket and you could only go to certain doctors and hospitals, plan K might be of interest. Now it's got these holes, right? Where you have to pay 50% of the cost if you see a doctor. You have to, it'd be 20%. So you pay half of 50%. You pay 10% of the cost of your doctor visit, your labs, your x-rays. So you would pay this going into the hospital overnight, going into hospice. You'd pay 50%. You can buy other insurance to fill these gaps because the price of K, as you can imagine, is very low. So what you're going to do is you're going to piece together a cheaper equivalent of G, ideally. So you will buy a K, very low price. You're still going to buy your drug plan, just like you would on a, any other meds up. And then you might buy a cancer plan or a hospital indemnity plan. You might buy a dental vision and hearing plan like you would on a G anyway. So it's an option. 
for people that don't want to go to Med Advantage. And like I said, there might not be any companies that sell a K in your state, or there might only be a few. It's not widely available yet. They have not changed this alphabet soup of plans since 2010, and their committees are always talking about changing this. Um, I fully expected to see the D come out, be refiled strong, haven't seen that yet. Um, there's, there's some levers they can push over here to keep Medicare supplements viable for average people. But right now, people are kind of flooding over to Medicare Advantage. Most states, more than 50% of people that are eligible for Medicare are opting for Medicare Advantage. And not because they're all excited about the limitations. Just financially, it's easier for them to bear. So what we do is we try to sit down with each client individually on the phone, talk to you about your specific budget. What's going on with your life? What state do you live in? What state laws are we up against? What's going on with your health, your medications, your future plans to move or RV life or what are you doing? We have to look at everybody as an individual and then look at what plans are available in your state and what we see coming and help you make this decision. It's not a decision you make once and you're done. Most people have to revisit this every three to four years and you might start with MedAdvantage, move to Medicare, start with Medicare Supplement, move to Medicare Advantage, move back to Medicare Supplement, move back. I've had clients do that, you know, over a 15 year period. Don't consider that when you made your first decision, you're done because it, it is a moving target. If you learned something today, please give me a follow. I would appreciate it. And then you'll never miss out on my other content about retirement. If you like this video, you might really like this video. Check it out. And we'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a great video. We put out one every week. Check in the description below this video for a link to our cheat sheet on Social Security and Medicare. And you can also give us a comment. If you have a specific question, always feel free to call us or email us at the Medicare family.